Hi friends, thanks for joining me. Today I've got a process video for you using the fabulous March kits. And oh my goodness, I think this is my favorite kit ever. <laughs> um, but I'm using a, a little bit from probably most of the kits plus some of the um, color kit. Now let me just tell you before I carry on, if you haven't already ordered the color kit, go and nab yourself one right now because those stamps are just everything. So um, yeah, go head to the website and make sure you grab yours because it will sell out for definite. Anyhow, I am going to use that beautiful paper with the stunning flowers. And let me tell you, if you are not a regular subscriber of Hip Kit Club, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> you need to go and get this one this month because um, what a unique combination of the simple stories, beautiful exclusive papers and these papers are just stunning. So um, yeah, let me tell you about the process. Um, I have ripped that, um, that flower paper um, because I really like the edge of it. Um, but I couldn't just use it on its own because that's not very designer, is it really? So I have uh, ripped that down the side there, going along the curve. And I really envisaged, envisaged um, my background on top of that stripey paper. In fact, I think it's a horizontal stripe, but I love the way that um, you've got those little pinstripes going down and that pink kind of mixed media section. Um, and then I saw on one of the other papers there were these like coffee ring marks and I wanted to produce that. So I've used one of the uh, ink pads from the colour kit. And in fact, I think this was the February colour kit. And uh, they are fantastic for uh, light mixed media. So they are water based so you can dilute them down and um, really create some fantastic um, solutions with that. So having been inspired by uh, the papers, I've used a little cup, but you could use a jar or I don't know, I've tried jars of different sizes. Um, and I've tried different methods of adding the ink. Um, I think you definitely want to uh, dilute that ink so you've got a soft uh, coffee ring style. Um, because if you just use the ink neat, then you'll end up with a very good impression because it's a really good ink and the ink will just transfer directly. Um, so if you water it down, then you will um, get those lovely coffee ring marks. So I've also used those um, brush mark ink, um, stamps to add some further colour to the background. And I can't wait to use these in sort of more in uh, in a more on my next layout because um, I think I had a really clear vision for this layout and uh, there wasn't going to be a lot of mixed media. Um, also on that um, stamp set in the colour kit then is these um, coffee splashes or the little uh, ink splashes um, and again I just wanted to pick up on the background paper there were some black ink marks on there so I really kind of wanted to bring that out. Now, I've had some complete disasters with black paint <laughs> splashing it onto my layout. It just goes everywhere, I have no control. This is really gonna solve your problems. So if you're like me, you love the look of mixed media, but you're a bit clumsy, uh, this would be the solution for you because you can absolutely control where your ink, your paint is going um, and really get that look, um, but be in total control of it. So moving on, I have um, got that main border there and um, I thought I wanted another piece behind it. Um, so don't forget on your cardstock kit, um, the front cover also has one of the um, pretty uh, cardstocks on there. So you can always use that because it's the same weight of paper. Um, I used mine and then really I hadn't cut it wide enough. so. Um, I'm going to use one of the actual pieces of cardstock. And this month, the cardstock has got a lovely, uh, delicate kind of pattern. I'm just trying to describe it in my head. It's kind of a geometric 
kind of flower tile pattern <laughs> it's very very light very subtle um, but it just gives it that bit of an edge really I think and look how perfectly it matches up with the background so you know it's just so cool having the exact right ingredients that you need for layouts so um, I'm going to map my photos. I was, although I knew what I wanted to do, I did a manar as to you know how to place things. Um, so so really, I kind of just needed to get on with it and <laughs> put glue things down. So I've mounted my photos onto some of the pattern paper. In fact, it's the reverse of that flower paper there. So there's like, like kind of a, a warm yellow colour underneath. And um, rather than just being the general pink, probably, which is what I'd normally do, I've picked up on that yellow because it's quite a, it's kind of an orangey yellow that's in that um, bouquet and the corrugated card that you can see um, on that main focal point. Um, and I also cut out one of uh, some of those beautiful flowers on one of the papers this month. Oh my goodness, it's my <laughs> absolute favourite paper. It is so pretty. So I did feel bad about cutting it out, but um, the flowers are just gorgeous. So I'm just flicking through. I, I, my kit only arrived yesterday. I didn't have a lot of time to, you know, straight the kit because I needed to get on. Um, so um, it's probably a good idea, really, because, you know, I can sit and stroke all day and then <laughs> not get anything done. So how lucky are we that we've got these uh, transfers, um, the ribbons in the embellishment kit, um, absolutely beautiful. They are the Vintage Blooms by Simple Stories, um, but I really like this um, particular one I'm using here because it's more of a background feature, so a little bit mixed media, a bit of stamping. And again, you know, if you worry about mixed media but love the look of it, ribbons are the way to go because again you've got that full control but look how realistic it looks and you know it would have taken some time to get that same look yourself so absolutely perfect uh, there's not a paper I, I dislike you know because I love this one with the library tags on uh, hello I could have just have sheets and sheets of that please as well so if Kimberly and Kim if you're listening you know hint hint can we have some more please <laughs> Um, this layout itself came together really quickly for me. Well, I say quickly, it's quickly for me. Um, just because I think I'd got a clear vision. Absolutely love a bit of fussy cutting, a bit of vintage, you know. So I think they must have created this kit just for me because it has got all my favourite things in there. And look at these butterflies. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like a kid in a sweet shop because it's just delightful. And I know you'll know that anyway, because um, if you're a fan of Hip Kit Club, you know that the girls put so much effort into creating something unique every month, and they've really knocked it out of the ballpark. So originally, I think my photos were going, um, or my main photo would go under that border. Um, and I wanted to just add a little bit of texture. I know I've got a fair bit of texture, but I do like more different types of texture so I'm just going to use some wax thread on to um, just to give it a, a, you know another texture and um, but it's kind of light so nothing too heavy so rather than wind it around the page which would be a lot simpler uh, I'm just going backwards and forwards onto the front so I've got three layers of twine and I'm just positioning my photos. I always love to use two photos if I can. Um, I don't know about you, I, I tend not to use six by four photos because um, I really like the look of three by four. And what that means is if I put two photos on a six by four page, um, a six by four paper rather, and I print them myself, then I've doubled my output effectively. So or half of my cost of my photo, <laughs> whichever way you want to look at it. So those fussy cut flowers, I've had some poking out of those layers on the left there. I absolutely love how that's turned out. Um, and then I cut out one of the larger um, flower um, 
flinches and that's going below my photo and uh, I think that's how I'm going to have it really the, the library card's just being tipped underneath um, but I do move that die cut um, just picking out some of the pieces the die cut pieces they're by Pink Fresh Studio and they're in the main kit this month um, so again, you know, who would think to put Vintage Blooms and um, what's the name of that collection? The Pink Fresh together. I mean, that's just genius, isn't it? It's called Chrysanthemum. So, yeah, you wouldn't think to put those two together, but somehow the girls have pulled it off expertly. Um, and I think the trick to it is personally is um, there's kind of pink elements in the Vintage Blooms, through lilacs and purples um, through to yellow so I think you know if you're going to mix it with the pink fresh stuff um, which is tends to be more pink and oranges and greens that you just use the pieces um, together so you might be more dominated by the vintage blooms or the pink fresh um, or pick the papers in the collection and, and start from there because um, it all goes together so well and you'll just end up with something you're so unique because the only place you can get it is at Hit Kit Club. So how marvellous. So uh, while I was nattering, I've used one of the die cuts then from Pink Fresh, as I say. And I fussy cut a couple of those little butterflies. I kind of feel bad because the uh, mixed media on those butterflies, the ink and the, the paint effect on them is just to die for. But of course, you, you cut out some of it as, you, as you're fussy cutting. So the, the girls must be so good at graphic design to come up with things like that. I'm, I'm very jealous. So I've trimmed down that t uh, library ticket a little bit just to squish it in. Um, I had stamped those you know, ink splats below and I didn't really want to cover it all up. I've picked out a couple of the die cuts. I think that was from the main kit, um, Pink Fresh Studio. Um, just a tuck behind my photo. So I was really going for that kind of textured look, really. So um, I've had a little break and uh, I'm just going to finish off now with a bit of decorating. You see that little tiny piece of blue paper up there on top of the photo? Um, that was left over from my fussy cutting. The background of that paper is this kind of pale blue. Um, it's got um, maybe some, um, you know, like office paper behind. It was such a pretty colour and I got, got it left over. So I thought, why not? I'll just tuck it in behind my photo. It's another layer. It's a little pop of the blue colour. Um, because I didn't have that much blue. So, yeah, kind of look at your supplies and your leftover bits and pieces and you'll be surprised just, you know, by taking in that extra bit. It just adds a bit more detail, doesn't it? So, actually, thinking about it, I am on Throwback Thursday. <laughs> so, that means I can use some of the past kits. Um, so I did use the ink, the blue ink that I used earlier was from the um, February colour kit and um, these letters are from the um, February pocket life kit. I love the size of these letters, it means you can make really big titles or you, you can, um, you know, do some journaling, it's just a lot of fun and, you know, they're really well stocked as well. So I had an idea about putting some title or journaling down that centerpiece um, and I've picked out a quote that was actually by Walt Disney. Um, if you can dream it, you can do it. And I'm really into um, personal development at the moment. So I'm really, that's in the forefront of my mind about just, just getting on and do things, you know, stop the procrastination which I am very good at um, well I used to be very good at I am no longer very good at it because I just get on with it <laughs> see it's working 
And then I've used the alphas from this month's kit as well, just to mix those in. Um, yeah, I thought it was just a nice way to highlight some, some words, really. It's a kind of message to my daughter. She was 16, I think, when I took these photos. Um, so in, in the last three years, she's changed so much, as I think all uh, teenagers do. Um, I'm so proud of her, but I say at the time, I think, you know, she's probably a little bit self-conscious, as kids are at that age. So, you know, wondering what she's going to be doing with her life. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just a nice way to, to look back on things and send that message <laughs> when they can appreciate it a little bit more, I think. So I'm almost done. I'm just going to add a few little stitches here and there just because I can. Um, I did go off and try and find some thread to match, but I really hadn't got one to, I wanted a kind of a cerise pink, but the cerise I'd got was really like in your face cerise. So it'd have been too bright. So I'm just going to use a bit more of that twine to um, add a little stitch detail. So um, I'm going to leave you with the close-ups while I finish this off and um, I really hope that you have a look at your kits. I'm sure you do. You kind of know that you can mix and match things from previous kits. Um, but head over to the website to really look at the, at the marked kits if you haven't got them all already. I would definitely uh, head over to the website and grab your colour kit um, because um, those stamps and ink pads are not going to hang around for a long time um, and you definitely need them in your life. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the uh, process and like the layout as much as I do. It is definitely one of my favourites and um, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. So take care now and uh, see you next time. Bye!